Hey, we'll open up for questions for Kirby. First question, right down here in the middle, Justin. Hey, Kirby, uh, maybe you expected it, but when you did get the official news that you made your first postseason roster, what were those emotions like? Um, honestly, a lot of nerves. Um, you know, I kind of had a feeling that it would happen. I was hoping it would happen. Um, you know, I kind of had a little little hiccup in September that might have cost me the spot. But overall, um, you know, they told me, and, you know, I was just excited, overall excited. When you look at your season as a whole, what has been the key to getting back to the person you thought you could be on the mound? Kind of a lot of patience and, you know, understanding that it's probably a process I had to go through to kind of wear it from the beginning for a little bit. Um, you know, rough patches here and there and just kind of keep grinding through it. Uh, you know, it's kind of been a battle every time I go to the mound, honestly, it felt like. Um, but, you know, the only thing you can control is go out there and compete at the highest level. And, you know, that's what I keep trying to do. Okay. Kelly? You, what? I kind of asked Michael this, but it's rare that you guys are in a situation where you feel like must win game. Can you just give us a, an insight to the vibe in the clubhouse right now, what guys are saying, how they're talking about this, this one here tonight? Um... Look, I think we're all in a good spot. Obviously, it is probably a must-win game for us. You know, you don't want to go to Philly 0-2. Um, you know, it's a tough place to play as it is. Uh, I don't want to make it any harder on us. But we're all really confident in that clubhouse. Um, you know, it's business as usual. Everybody's got a job to go out there and do. And, you know, we feel really good about our chances. Dave? Kirby, you've been around a long time. You've been to Philly a lot of years. How much tougher has that place gotten to play in the last couple of years now that they got really good again? Yeah, I think last year when we went to playoffs, I don't think anybody's really seen that crowd like that. Um, you know, I wasn't on the team, but I was there. Uh, you know, it, it was it was a little different, but truthfully, in my eyes, like that's kind of the way you want every road crowd. It makes playoffs like feel different, and that's you know that's something that makes it fun, something that makes it enjoyable. I don't think it should be easy to go to somebody else's place and, and come away with games. Same way that you know opposing teams shouldn't come in here and have it like easy. They, they should kind of feel the same way, and I think they do. Um, you know, both teams have really good home crowds. Okay, anyway, Zach, you're right? When your name is called, what do you do to slow the heart rate, get in the moment, get in the zone when it's just different this time of year? Um. Look, I think you're a little bit more locked in from the get-go. I think in the regular season, you kind of know when things are going to unfold for your name to be called. Um, you know, so you're a little bit dialed in more from the get-go. Um, but, you know, I think it's the same as the regular season. Before, you know, before you get that call where the phone rings, your heart's pounding. Um, you know, even in the regular season, that's the, you know, the, the anticipation is probably the worst spot or the worst part. So, you know, once they call down and say your name, I mean, you know, once you kind of touch that mound and start throwing a little, you know, it kind of just drops your heart rate as it is because you're just trying to focus on what you got to do and, and get back to your routine as normal. You go in the middle. Hey, Kirby. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about the off days leading into this series, mostly on the hitting side. But from a standpoint of relievers and guys who work on an everyday basis, do you feel like this might have been at least a little bit beneficial for your particular group in the bullpen? I think it's – look, there's a – I don't know. There's probably two ways to answer this question. I think, one, if you needed rest, yes. I think another thing, too, it's, you know, you've also gone a week without being in a game. So that's kind of – a different look at it too, um, but regardless, we played these games. You know, those three scrimmages, we've all gotten into games, and I think once you kind of get between the lines in these, you kind of just throw everything out, and you got to go out there and battle and compete, and um, you know, just do your best to be locked in and and go out there and execute your plan. I think that's the only thing you can control. Have anything else for Kirby? Go down here, Dave again. Um, regarding the the scrimmages, the inner squads. Um, you guys are keeping your arms active, obviously, but it's different, right? You're not throwing like you would in a regular game. You're not pitching inside on guys' hands, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's always different when you're facing your own guys. You know what I mean? You don't – listen, you don't want to get close and hit somebody on the hand because – you know what I mean? So, obviously, there's there's some difference between that when you're, you're facing your own guys as opposed to somebody else. Um, but I, I think it was good. It was beneficial the fact that we had some fans in the stands. You know, they were playing music. Um, you still had some type of adrenaline. Like, you know, it wasn't just complete, like, going in, throwing live BPs where you don't really have, 
you know, the juices flowing. There were some juices flowing. So I, I, I do think it was very beneficial. Okay, Justin. Uh, going off of Dave's question on Philly, when I know you weren't on the team, but when you were there, is that momentum palpable when their offense started to get going in those games? Yeah, look, this is my you know first one kind of being in between the lines was yesterday, but you kind of get a sense pretty early on that momentum's pretty big. Um, you know, so whenever you can kind of take advantage of that, you got to take advantage. And kind of on the flip side, whenever you can slow it down, you try and slow it down. So, you know, momentum does play a part in this. Um, and, and I think that's why cause kind of postseason baseball is, is, is different in, you know, a lot of ways. And that's a big way. Okay. You good? Thanks, Kirby. No problem. Okay.